that. Hey guys! Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be talking to you about how we got into Wellesley and what are our tips on how you can also get in. Right, and the reason why we're making this video is because we got a lot of DMs, comments, mm -hmm. personal questions regarding this. And so we thought might as well share with you guys about our stories. So we have an outline planned and we'll start off with our stats first. So step one, stats. Yep. Um, obviously, everyone always says this, you're more than just numbers. But it's true. It's true. You are more than just numbers. However, it is also very helpful to have numbers to guide you. Mm -hmm. So there are. Do you want to go first? Okay, yeah. So I could start. When we were applying for Wellesley, I believe it was test optional, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I took both the SAT and the ACT, and I got a more satisfactory score for myself with my ACT. So I'll just be telling you guys that. I got a 34 on my ACT. Damn. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, keep talking. This is gonna get really embarrassing for me. It's okay. I got a 34 on my ACT. Uh, my GPA was a 4.0. Uh, so for AP and IB, I was I took all of IB classes in my junior and senior year, and the classes I took were IB H Chem, IB H Math Analysis, IB H English, and then IB S Japanese, History, and Music. I'll just put it this way. I wasn't really good at taking <laughs> IB tests. So we'll put it that way. <laughs> okay, so for my stats, um, starting off, I did take both the SAT and ACT. Again, test optional, so I chose to send my ACT scores. I ended up with a 32 composite. And from my understanding, at least when I applied, that was considered to be low. Um, or if it was average, it was like the lowest score of the average. So for context, my GPA when I applied was a 3.94, I believe. But it turns out that like the way schools calculate GPA is different. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like it yeah. might be a bit different for everyone. Everyone, every school calculates it different. So like I had a 3.94 and my GPA was fully unweighted. So regardless of honor, AP class, like nothing was weighted at all. Oh, mine was weighted, so that yeah. makes sense, yeah. Mine wasn't weighted. Yeah. Um, AP, IB, I took AP classes. I think during my time in high school, I ended up taking a total of like nine APs. Junior year, I took five of them. Senior year, I took three, and then sophomore year, I took one. In terms of scores, I got I got the full range. I'm not afraid to say it. I failed physics, <laughs> so <laughs> there was that. But yeah, I did get a full range of like twos, threes, fours, and fives. Why am I saying two plural? I literally failed one. But like, yeah. But you like experienced. Yeah, I experienced like all the different ones. Yeah. Um, in terms of transferring credit here. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the classes I got fives on, one of them doesn't have an equivalent here. Mm. Another one, it's like I have to retake it because I'm pre-med. And then the other one, I tested out anyways. So like, it didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't like put weight into like if you're trying to get credit to transfer I wouldn't have that be your focus mm -mm. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, I think even for me out of all the different classes I took like it might be because I was IB too So like only mm -hmm. the H's would count at least for our school okay. um, Like the S levels don't count, but I couldn't get a lot of credit in and so um, Yeah, don't really expect to have a lot of college credit transferred as mm -hmm. much as you want it to but yeah, so first in terms of stats, you, you can see that like you may think that we have like the perfect stats, but it's truly not. Like we both have both like good test scores, but also like not as good test scores, and like that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think schools also understand like test anxiety and all of that. So real, I had test anxiety. I'm such a bad test taker. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Um, part two. <laughs> it's extracurriculars so like extracurriculars <laughs> what did i say extracurriculars i said extracurriculars why do you say it like wait that? what do you say extracur extracur see <laughs> no you said like cur not cure extracurriculars extracurricular you can't even say the full <laughs> word so why are you <laughs> curricular like it's like extracurricular. Who says that? Extracurricular activities. <laughs> Who says that? Anyway, it's that right? 
So inside of school, I did. I was part of my school orchestra. I did it since middle school. And then I was in a lot of different clubs at school. So for example, I was Model UN, Model United Nations Club, Newspaper Club. You don't give Model <laughs> UN at all. Because I was the president in my senior year. <laughs> But yeah, my major is like nothing related to that. Oh, newspaper club. I also founded the, or like refounded the Korean club at my school because it was there, it kind of like went off and then like I brought it back mm -hmm. during COVID. Oh, I was also part of the National Honor Society, the mm -hmm. Triumph Music Honor Society as well. Service club, glee club, singing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when our school had like beach cleanups and stuff, like I would go to that. Uh, like once in a while honestly um and yeah i think that's all i could think of okay so for me what i did that was like technically like within my within my high school i was on the swim team um oh wait sorry <laughs> tennis yeah <laughs> <laughs> she she played tennis i forgot that i was part of the tennis team <laughs> well, yeah, tennis um i was on the swim team i also did debate one of my one of the years um i was part of fccla all four years What's that? Family Create and Community Leaders of America. We are focused on FCS education and we use that to do volunteer service and treat people and teach people life skills. All right. Yeah, I was, re I was region president actually. Yeah, so I was a part of that. National Honor Society, Spanish mm -hmm. Honor Society. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm forgetting so many. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure there may be more yeah, for both of us. My bad. It's been like, it's been a hot it's minute, like guys. <laughs> <laughs> over a year since like yeah been it's been a it's been a while but um yeah but you get the gist you yeah. know like pretty much we were pretty active in like different pretty active in various different yeah, fields yeah, yeah i think for me unlike rachel i think i was more specialized in things like my main oh so i'm not specialized is what you're saying <laughs> you're a special person you're just not specialized okay <laughs> <laughs> in high school i think i definitely had, like two things and it was definitely like, like swim team and FCCLA. Like those were my mm -hmm. two like, and at least with, focus. with my high school, mm -hmm. those were my two main focuses, because mm -hmm. that's where I was like, really active and involved, mm -hmm. like training every day or being like a leader in the org. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think for me, I was just like all over the place exploring. <laughs> <laughs> Echoing what Rachel said, a big part of it is just like outside of college admissions, figuring out like what do you enjoy doing, because once you figure out what you enjoy, you can really use that to help mm -hmm. drive like your life as you apply to college and once you're in college exactly, yeah. in terms of like what i did for my extracurriculars outside of high school i was on club team as well so i was swimming there um i was a full-time well in my opinion i was a full-time martial artist and then i did traditional indian dance called gatak mm -hmm. and those were like my main things outside mm -hmm. so i did two and a half-ish sports full year, every year of high school. Mm -hmm. And I had a job all of high school. I think for me, outside of school, I was uh, actively involved in my church. And so like mm -hmm. I had orchestra there, like we had a thing called praise team, um, a lot of music related stuff. Music is one of my passions. And I also did like a homeless, program sort of thing so like i serve food for the homeless on the weekends um i also taught children like volunteer teaching mm -hmm. um like english and math and such and i also volunteered at a hospital like extracurriculars in school i like spent a lot during the weekdays and then the weekends at like, church on sundays and like other volunteering things on saturday and so like, i devoted my weekends towards that well as i said i was involved in music a lot so i went to we had like local wide music competitions um i won a few medals there and like an award and then during covid our school offered a lot of like international online conferences and so for like science fairs uh or like social science fairs as well like mm -hmm. uh i was awarded a few there and yeah stuff like that <coughs> yeah i think for me at least it's hard to like paint like what's an award because like i was a competitor in two different sports for years so it's like i won things pretty i was like awarded stuff like in that sense pretty mm -hmm. often yeah, yeah, yeah. like especially like diamond nationals when i competed and i won my division or stuff like that i got most of my awards when i was graduating not when mm -hmm. i was applying so i couldn't apply and tell people like this is what i have to my name 
because I didn't receive it till I graduated. And like application was done by then. Yeah, and like that I already received my acceptances, so it didn't matter. Which like it did matter, but like I couldn't like use it in yeah, my yeah. benefit, if that made sense. So like at the time of applying, all I had was like my awards from like AP. Like I was an AP scholar with distinction um, yeah, yeah, yeah. multiple years in a row. When I graduated, I got like, I was an AP scholar with distinction like twice. And then I also had the presidential award or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. And then I got something. <laughs> what do you mean whatever that is? I don't know what it is. <laughs> we got it from Biden. Oh, really? Yeah. What does it mean? No, that's what the presidential award is. Yeah, but so like what is our, it? So our year is really interesting because we, we had three different presidents. Because like, I don't know about, I don't know, is it like a Guam thing? I'm pretty sure it's national, nationwide, but pretty much it's like fourth grade, eighth grade, twelfth grade. You all you received a presidential award, like based on your like performance. So like fourth grade, your elementary school performance, eighth grade, your middle school performance, and then twelfth grade, your entire high school performance. So then it was interesting for us because fourth grade, it was the presidential award was signed by Obama. Eighth grade was signed by Trump. And then our twelfth grade one was signed by Biden. So then my friends and I would always. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. So then my friends would always talk about like, oh my god, we have three pre like three different president signatures. Oh my god, that's crazy. There was that. I got an award from the Marine Corps, and then there was like other ones as well. I just don't remember them, yeah. to be honest. But like the type of awards you receive, like doesn't necessarily have to be academic. Like as Kamya mm -hmm. said, like she received a lot of like different sport awards. Um, I'm not really that athletic, so <laughs> I didn't really receive any individual sport awards. I received awards. like awards in FCCLA, mm -hmm. like because I was a competitor there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, the only time I think I got a sport award was like, as a team, <laughs> not like me individually. <laughs> um, says a lot about me in athletics. Um, but hey, you got other qualities. <laughs> but yeah, so like you can see how like the range of awards is like mm -hmm. very diverse, and also. I think like coming from a small place, aka me, versus like you coming from like such a big like state is like very different. So like mm -hmm. for me, I'm only competing against like a smaller amount of people versus like people who are from the U.S. or like bigger countries. It's like mm -hmm. you're competing against a larger group of people, and so yeah. you know, like I think schools take that into consideration, especially when you put like where you're from and such. And so yeah. like don't compare the number of awards like the person next to you if like you're not from the same place yeah, yeah. it's hard to compare because it's yeah. like everyone's background is different yeah, right yeah. like rachel got a lot of awards rachel's also from a small place yeah. it's really i didn't small place. <laughs> i didn't get as many awards if you like look at it in the same way but also like i wasn't in the same stuff as rachel so yeah. that doesn't make sense to compare yeah. and two even if you did compare the people I, I had like a lot more people that i was like up against even though it's not really a competition mm -hmm. so it's just stuff like that that you have to really yeah, think yeah. about mm -hmm. I think in terms of awards, it's like, don't take it too pers- like, don't take it too much to heart, because mm -hmm. I don't- Realistically, like, what have, what have most people done? Mm -hmm. Like, not that much. Mm -hmm. Next category. Next category is our essays. A lot of us- a lot Number of you guys. Three! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you guys asked us regarding what we wrote, and mm -hmm. being honest, I don't remember. I, I tried to look into my computer for the Wellesley essay. And I think I mentioned in a previous video, but Wellesley honestly was not one of my top choices. Mm -hmm. So I don't remember what I wrote <laughs> in it and I couldn't find the file. And so Kamiya will be talking about the Wellesley specific essay. I'll just talk about really briefly about what I wrote for my common app main essay. And if I remember, there's like a lot of prompts you could choose from. And I think one of it was like, what sparked your interest or something? Oh, oh no, personal growth or something like that. <laughs> personal growth. Yeah, there was a prompt about personal growth, I think. If I'm remembering things, it's been a long time. But anyway, I really talked about the IAB program. I think it really meant a lot to me um, and how it taught me a lot of different writing skills and such and how that really helped me in terms of my academic growth and curiosity. And I talked about how I want to like continue that in college. We wrote about such different things. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, so in terms of my common app essay, I won't go too much into it, but I wrote about criminal minds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the TV show. So that was great. But I read about criminal minds and criminal psychology and how like during COVID um, I had this like it was a bubble for me that I, it was like fostered this passion for it mm -hmm. and how that led me to like searching through interview tapes of like crimes and like stuff like that. Or it's the reason why I believe now that like after seeing everything or not everything, but after seeing mm -hmm. and looking through all that, like I truly believe that children are the future oh. and by teaching children like how do you process emotions how do you learn and grow from things that happen even if it's really hard so if you can help teach people those skills then the world can be a better place so that's how i just kind of talked to my generations. yeah 
and I talked about how like that's how I know like I want to work with kids in the future um and then for my Wellesley essay so the Wellesley essay at least when we applied I don't know if it's changed it was like talk about two Wellesley specific things that mm -hmm. interest you essentially so I don't know Wellesley was interesting because one it was free to apply and yes. the two it was just this the, this was it it was just common app submit yeah. this essay and you were done hoping it's still free yeah hoping it's still free for you guys yeah but I talked about, so the first thing I talked about was the Camellia, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so sorry, the Camellia Student Leadership Awards, and I talked about how, awful. like, I know, right? <laughs> I feel like now that I'm here, they don't talk about it as much, no. but essentially, it, they're, like, awards that they give to people that, and I really liked them when I applied because the awards are designed to help uplift people mm. and, like, honor leadership, and I talked about how, like, I'm, nev I'm not really someone who leads through, like, really flashy leadership actions i'm more of like the quiet person moving in the background behind the scenes yeah i'm the behind the scenes like making sure things work well making sure people have a good time feel included and stuff and how i feel like there is a very there, that type of leadership is a thing that like so many people have to do but just don't get recognized yeah. for and how i really liked that wellesley was willing to show that like hey we recognize that's a really important part to like anything mm -hmm. and how they're willing to like understand that yeah the second thing was about the civic engagement and presidential scholars programs here mm. i'm gonna be honest i don't know i don't know what that is what did, how did you even find these stuff they had like the wellesley 100 linked and they were like oh yeah scroll through oh, this oh yeah yeah so yeah, i just like yeah, scrolled yeah. and was like oh that's interesting it's bad that i do not know what these two things are civic engagement is what gives us driving yeah <laughs> so i don't know oh do you have to be a good driver this well you're not making it honey <laughs> then there was like this thing called the sophomore experience i don't know if that's still a thing at wellesley i haven't heard about it but essentially it was like a community service thing and like a volunteer thing but i haven't heard anything about it and then the presidential scholars program i also haven't heard about that since i've been here but that also might just be that like either they stopped running with like covid stuff or it's like not applicable to us yet maybe it's for like more upperclassmen stuff. yeah but so interesting that's what i read about and i just like tied in like fccla swimming karate stuff like that into those essays to incorporate and show like this is who i am right but, so i think that's like a really good tip in terms of writing your essays like uh if the wealthy prompt is the same like choosing things that interest you and like how why you why you're interested in that program mm -hmm. or something like that like tying it to your personal experiences or your personal interests mm -hmm. and incorporating all those yeah much. yeah okie dokie reaction part four <laughs> reaction when we got in all i remember is I remember Wellesley was one of the earlier ones mm -hmm. to re to uh, release the results, and when I got in, uh, well, they sent me an email, mm -hmm. but then time because of time difference, it was like a weird time, like 3 a.m. or something. So I woke up to it, and then they're like, "Oh, like here's like you have an <coughs> update on your yeah. portal or something." So I went and they're like, "Congratulations!" And then they have like, this like confetti thing, yeah. and they're like, "You got it!" And then I was just like, "Oh yay!" Like. I don't think at that time I was accepted to any of the schools because it was earlier mm -hmm. on and so I was like okay like at least I'm going to college you know yeah I think for me okay so like similar to Rachel Ra Wellesley was like one of the ones I was more like interested in however like it wasn't where I was thinking I would end up if that makes any sense mm -hmm. yeah, me too, yeah. like I was not expecting to get in so and again like Rachel said it was like very early in comparison to the other releases so I remember like my parents and I had been driving on we had been on a trip and we had been driving like a road trip and I was like oh I think this is <clears throat> whoa okay I was, like, <laughs> I was like oh mom like I think this is coming out today and she's like really and I was like yeah like when we're on the road and she's wait like, I think oh. I heard the story actually. yeah yeah I was like yeah like, I think it's coming out when we're on the road and she's like oh okay and I remember I had like fallen asleep and then when I woke up I like checked my phone and I was like oh like it's time or like it happened like 15 minutes ago so i like go and i get the email and i'm like checking and i remember getting in and like i freaked out i freaked out internally and i was just crying mm -hmm. and so my mom was like it's okay like it's fine <laughs> oh your mom thought you didn't get it no my mom thought i didn't get in and she was like it's okay like you're gonna be fine and i was like no i got in and she was like oh my god and my dad's like behind the wheel driving he just starts crying oh. and he's just like crying behind the wheel and i was like I know reading that and after feeling how I felt, I knew that like deep down, like 
Wellesley was somewhere I really was hoping to get in. It was just like, yeah, it was like somewhere I was really hoping to get in. I just like wasn't really letting myself picture it because it's like if you let yourself have expectations and then you don't get it, it's like the disappointment is really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to deal with that. So I was like, I'm not going to have expectations. And then I got in. It was like a whole thing. But I was like calling and texting people in the car and out like while I was like crying. Mm -hmm. So that was great. All right. And yeah, that was pretty much all we had. But we just wanted to end with any like <coughs> tips, last minute tips you may want to share. Some words of wisdom, perhaps. Yes. Part five. <laughs> um, tips and words of wisdom. I think really write about things that you care about. And like sincerely care about it. don't just be like oh well i've been in this club for four and a half years so i'm gonna write about it even though i don't like it that much no if you've been in a club for a week and you're like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me write about it because the more passionate you are about what you're writing about then the easier the essays will come and then the easier it'll be to like just do your application like wellesley i started and applied within like three days because i was like I grinded that essay out and I was like, I feel really good about this. If you're writing about things that make you happy and you enjoy, or that maybe they didn't make you happy, but they taught you something that you're proud of or you're glad to have learned, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to BS an essay that you don't know about something you don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really big one. Um, I don't think I really have much to add on, but I think... I know it's hard, like, I'm also feeling guilty when I say this, and I feel hypocritical because I also didn't, like, really do the same, but, like, I feel like a lot of the times in high school, we only look for, like, college admissions, and, like, mm -hmm. I feel like all of us work for that, really, and, like, I don't blame any of you guys because I was also in the same boat. We but, all did it. <laughs> but I, th I think at the end of the day, it's, like, after I came to college, I really realized, sometimes I'm just kind of, like, oh, wow, like, what, what did I really do all of that? For. you know what i mean i just really want to emphasize that like college really isn't everything in life like i don't know just do things that make you happy <laughs> yeah i definitely think i'm a firm believer that like you will end up in one way or another you will end up in the place you're meant to be yeah. so even if you end up at a school that's like not what you thought or not what you expected it's like one you can find a way to make it like mm -hmm. a make yourself a better situation and two you there's a reason why you're there Go into it with an open mind, with the whole application process. Mm -hmm. Try not to have super high expectations. Have the goal just be like, if your goal is college, the goal is college, man. Goals are good. Don't be like so stuck on it that you can't think of anything else. Mm -hmm. Like be, be flexible, be like a wave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, but that was pretty much it. Uh, we've been receiving, again, a lot of DMs regarding that, like, well, this is your dream school. We're really excited that you're thinking that way because both of us, we didn't really think that way. Uh, but, you know, I, I think the whole purpose, I think we always mention this, but the whole purpose of this channel is to really show you guys more of, like, mm -hmm. our wealthy life. And so um, hopefully our videos inspire you and encourage you to come to Wellesley and we hope to see all of you guys there and good luck with college essays you got this I know it's the time right now like you probably you're starting really? you're just sitting there like time to go <laughs> yeah um and if you guys get in then you know let us know we want to celebrate with you but I know right now it's a really stressful time especially for the seniors right now who are like so true. grinding those college apps you but. got it you know, it's a lot, but you're gonna get through it. It is a lot, but I believe that it will all be worth in the end. So, it definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your head up, and you'll be fine. Keep your head up. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Kami, do you have anything else to add? She's like, no. <laughs> Stay strong, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Stay strong. <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you for requesting this video. We love it when like we have mm -hmm. like video ideas that come in and out. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing our experiences of how we got into Wellesley. Honestly, we don't know what was the like. One I have thing. no idea how I got into yeah. school, but I'm gonna be so honest. Yeah. I don't know. We don't really know, but we just want to share like what we had on our application to maybe give you guys a better like look on how like Wellesley students are and like what stats they had and stuff like that. But yeah. Thanks again so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Leave comments down below of future videos you want to see. You can always DM either of us. Socials are also in the description. 
And follow us on TikTok at Why Are We Friends LOL. Yep. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!